Matt, Matt, has anyone come to you who's an athlete now? Two part question. Has anyone come to you who's an athlete now and been like, hey, man, can you give up your programming? I really want to do it and see if it works for me. And two, do you think it would like someone who's been in, like, like, let's look at Noah or, or mm-hmm. someone who's been in the game for a long time or, or Quant, you know, or Justin Medeiros. Was there who's the fifth person? Who am I forgetting? Uh, Jeffrey Adler. Jeffrey Adler. Have, have any of them come to you and been like, hey, I, I, w- I want to move to Vermont or no. I want to Zoom call with you every day and have you train me? No, no one's like, hey, I just want. No, I put, the I put out the your offer. Cake. I put out the offer to a couple people to because I'm like, hey, like I have a house, a two bedroom apartment all on the same property. I'm going to have like a really nice home gym space. Um, so there's been the offer to a couple people to like, hey, come out just for just for a short stretch, you know. Um, so you can test your programming or so that you can actually help them win the games? No, to to see if I can help them. And I, and I put out the offer to a couple people, one in particular that I've been in contact with. And I was like, Hey, I don't want to be your coach. Like I'm not trying to step on any toes or overstep any boundaries. So I, I invited this coach as well. Um, and just like, Hey, like if I can help in any way, um, like come on out, like, you don't have to do my program. Like you keep doing your thing and I'll see if I can give you pointers where, where I can. I'm not, I mean, I don't want to go head to head with someone and like, I have no interest in that. Um, but yeah, so I've put out that offer. Um, we'll see if anyone goes up on it. We'll see what the schedule is for the year. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll, get back be... to you soon. I'll get back to you soon on that. I'll let you know. Yeah. <laughs> Why and, and why did and then, you and why did you do that? Why did you put out that offer? Like to the athletes? Yeah, because I like them. The people, I, I just want to hang okay. out with them, and I, I feel like I've learned some lessons along the way. Like I've worked with a lot of different people, you know, um, and so I feel like I've like picked up some good traits and qualities and ideas from all the different people, and, and uh, my programming as it is right now. No, a games athlete should not only do that programming. Like when I was training for the games, it's like probably six to eight hours in the gym or like actively like training. And then a couple hours of warm up, cool down, recovery, all that stuff. I'm not putting that out. Like the the program I'm putting out the the three guys but I've you would put that out. out, but you would put that out for someone who came to your house is what you're saying for these people you're inviting to your house. You're saying, Hey, it's not the programming I'm going to have on hybrid that I'm going to share with you. I would share with you the programming I did to make it to the CrossFit games and win the games. Is that what you're saying? Yeah, I think, I think like games training, it's so specific to each person. So like, you know, when you see someone like Bergeron, working with games athletes, like he's with them, he's seeing them, he's seeing their individual strengths and weaknesses. Um, That's how my, my training has been. It's been tailored to me. Like you can't just give a generic program to these elite elite, you know, you can put out a program of like, all right, this is going to apply to 99% of people that are just trying to get fitter, a little bit better, whatever it is. But when you're trying to be the best in the world, you need a personal tailored program to you. Um, so like my training, the, all, all the people I have testing, I have three different people, like completely different demographics and they're all in and out of the gym between 90 minutes and two hours. And that's doing full warm up, every piece of training and the bonus work at the end. So, um, that's who I'm tailoring it towards. And like, if they don't do the bonus work or the accessory work, I think you're in and out in like an hour, hour 10, if you want to be, um, but it's like it all builds off itself. So it's in your best interest to do the bonus work at the end. But no, like I'm not trying to sit here and promote it as like you will go to the games if you do this. It's like, no, there's a lot more required in it. Um, but yeah, I think it applies. I have one guy, he's a master's athlete that is doing the programming. I have one kid who's early 20s, like regional level athlete, and they're doing the same workouts. And it's the same stimulus for everything because it's all percentage based. So, yeah. You mean it's all CrossFit? What'd you say? It's It's all CrossFit. It's all CrossFit. Dude, at the games, it's like, here's a bike. It's CrossFit. You know, it's just like, you can call CrossFit whatever you want, you know? Exactly. It is CrossFit. 